director for Helio and uh, my friend Kurt Braun brought me on this project to help create art. Um, he throws concepts and designs at me and my job is to make them happen and figure out the mechanics or where we can find it. Uh, we do a lot of recycled art. Uh, I find beauty in things that people throw away all the time. Like people throw away something and I'll turn it over and say you haven't looked at this side yet maybe there's something else to it. And uh, that's the kind of basis of a lot of my art is finding a different side of things. The most challenging part of the shoot so far has been uh, those rats <laughs> and the cockroach. Uh, you know, they only shot for a few minutes, but uh, the rats and the cockroach, that in order to get them to look like some post-apocalyptic creature that no one's ever seen before, still making them edible, uh, trying to make them look like something that's, you know, really not real, but is made from something real is, is you know, difficult. Yesterday was definitely my favorite day in the marketplace. The marketplace is awesome. There's a lot of energy out there. Uh, the culmination of a lot of our work, a lot of the sets are more basic, like we're just basically spreading a lot of garbage around and making it look like this beat up city. What's it, what's it like working with Kurt? That's awesome. <laughs> it's, it's awesome, you know? He told me, uh, he told me film is like uh, the circus and the army had a bastard child which uh, fits really great because, you know, he's a general and I guess I'm the major and uh, he says make it happen and I make it happen, you know, and it's really fun. All right, well, look, here's our uh, uh, stripped down rats from the marketplace. You know, there's a lot of fake fur come in here. We use uh, a lot of different elements here, like, like plastic forks and zip ties, whatever you can find. This cockroach has got like a knee pad for a head and uh, this thing's actually animatronic. Oh, they stripped the batteries out of it, so it's dead already. It's probably good. It's a pretty mean looking cockroach. Yeah, so we got some guns here. We got LED elements. So they can fire. Uh, they're wired up. Batteries, so uh, pill bottles. Okay, for the ammo. Uh, these are dollar store toys for the handles. Just a bunch of different components going to them. PVC, spray paint, leak seal. Uh, these are clips for conduit. This is actually conduit, so it's fitting to use those on them. This is our cannon. This was a pet, my project here for getting this done. Uh, about three weeks ago, I went to the junkyard knowing that we had to create some kind of a sci-fi cannon. So I started scoping out parts. And uh, this is actually part of a cooling unit from some kind of factory. I expect for high test chemical manufacturing, I'm not sure. Uh, it was about twice as big as this before. It's carbon steel on the inside and aluminum on the outside. It's like it pump fluids through and it clean, it uh, cools fluids. This control panel, no idea, same junkyard. It's probably from a CNC machine or a lathe that looks like it's for cutting metal or some, again, some kind of high-tech manufacturing process. Uh, we thought it was awesome. It looks like the Death Star control. Push the buttons and make it look like it's running. We put some uh, LED lights inside of it to make it look like it actually functioned. Uh, this base right here is off of a back of a Home Depot kitty cart, so they would have a shopping cart this way, and this is where the two kids would have sat. And so we chopped that out, turned it around, spray painted it. We got a cooler under here where the motor's supposed to be. Here's where we load our ammo. Our control panel, again, pull a lot of this stuff from different junkyards, so it looks like they can be loading ammo. We're missing our ammo cart right here. It's a seat off a swivel chair. And just, you know, whatever we can find to make it work and look good. Put it all together. Yeah, this is our golden ladder. Our hero uh, is trying to escape the dome from. He doesn't even realize it's a dome. All he knows is there's this golden ladder, and uh, we had to find it. We didn't really have a budget to manufacture a ladder that was totally unique and different. So we found a regular extension ladder. Took one piece off of it, chopped some PVC, split it down the ends, screwed it to the side just to make it look a little different, and then spray painted the whole thing gold. Uh, we ended up shooting down those tubes at one point with the golden ladder inside of it. Out here they become smokestacks. Uh, a lot of sheet metal. We have no idea where this ball is. We found this on the other side of a lot and rolled it down the street. That was kind of fun. Fred Strider over here, he would have jumped on top of it and rolled it down the street by himself. 
Man, to work for Teddy is awesome. He's got a lot of energy, you know, he's uh, he's really humble. He's just here to, to, to see his vision created, you know. I, I didn't even hear people were telling me, like, go talk to Teddy. I was like, who's Teddy? He's, you know, the director, the writer. I was like, oh, great, you know, other than that, you wouldn't know it, man. He's just in there doing his job, and he's humble about it, and he's here to see his creative vision made. And it's, it, it makes a really good director that way. Oh,